Okay, well I got good news today. Uh, my daughter is coming by um, with the grandbaby and her husband. So uh, I'm waiting on them to get here and when they do, I'll be back. This is hard to do, I still got you on my big tripod. So anyway, I'm about to pull around front and see if they're here yet. Well guess what? They're here. <laughs> hey, guess who's here? They're all here. Oh. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Oh, hey, Aww. Just chill. <laughs> Aww. Thank you, girl. Oh, thank you, because she's like, what is that thing? What is that thing? What is it? The camera. What's that thing looking at you? She's like, I don't know. <laughs> she's like, yeah, yeah. Thank you. all right. Yeah. It'll be alright. Yeah. What is it thing? He's like, I don't know, but I'm not sure I like it. <laughs> yeah, she's super soft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey mama. Hey mama. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well I'll stop now. What's up, Josh? What's up, man? <laughs> How are you doing, bro? Good, good. All right, so I'm gonna get off here. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna. Go. At least it should be in the back. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's go get Alicia. Hey! Oh, look at my daughter! Yeah, my arm. What about it? Oh. 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 It's like rude. She, she's got a next something next. It's the next one. The bar. She has a bar in her arm. Do they serve drinks? Huh? Do they serve drinks? Yes, I do. <laughs> mm. What is it? It's it's like a bar. You can feel the bar. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? Uh, they, they what are you doing? A bar. I know. What I know. I know. I know. Oh, oh, yeah. I forgot her name. Was it Amelia? Amelia, that's it. Yeah, you're a good girl. I still got you, got you on YouTube. I got you on YouTube, looking out the front but uh, living room window. <laughs> so they came over here from Jonesboro to visit and to see everybody, see family, see friends, and whoever else. And I'm glad that they came. And because my granddaughter is so cute. See, I don't think she likes the camera. Already. Yeah. She she kept looking at it like Did I just catch the wonderful moment of poo? They're <laughs> getting ready to leave right now. It's kind of they didn't get to stay very long because they gotta drive back to their uh, to her mom's out in Huntsville. So that's a good little drive. So they're they're gonna get going so they can get back out there. Amelia, eat it. Bring it back, okay? You will. Love you. Love you. Love you. Give her a big hug. I will. I will. I love you, baby. Love you too, baby. I love you. Always. Yeah, you're careful. What she do? Did she fall? Are you slipping and sliding, Amelia? Are you slipping and sliding? I love you. Oh. We'll see you, Josh. See you, man. Love you. Love you too, man. Y'all be careful. All right. Bye. We're gonna miss them already. They're just now leaving. <laughs> All right, everybody. It's been a good day. Uh, just kind of hung out the house most of the day. And then uh, my daughter and her husband and my new grandbaby showed up to visit for a little bit, as you've seen. And then um, so it was a good visit. So right now, I guess I'm just gonna go and uh, uh, I don't know what time is it. I won't make it to the meeting. I'm gonna go to the meeting late. That's what I'm gonna do. I just got to the meeting, so I'm gonna go in and then uh, uh, and enjoy this meeting. All right. Good morning, everybody. Kenny here. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kenny, just like I just said, and I am a meth addict in recovery. Okay, I am an addict, so, and uh, this is my journey. Um, I've been uh, working towards trying to uh, 
uh, get to where I can do some traveling and then getting things prepared like my vehicle I've been doing a lot of work as you can see in the previous videos that's me uh, obviously trying to get my vehicle re uh, travel ready to uh, do some traveling so um, but I'm gonna start off in the uh, state of Arkansas because um, I have to have permission to leave Arkansas uh, y'all want to know everything about me well um, you're gonna know so um, that is my current situ current situation sorry about that um, because I am still on parole I've been out since March of 2015 and and, um, and I've uh, had my relapses you know since I've been out you know as of right now I have a little over a year and a half clean and um, so but I don't know I've just been really trying to uh, get things um, prepared things ready but also I'm in conflict with um, should I be doing that or should I actually be trying to um, uh, prep more because I am into prepping because I do believe uh, the things should get bad in this world really fast and um, and I'm not real sure that I would like to um, not be prepared you know I would rather, much rather be prepared you know I have been buying food and putting it back and um, water um, there's other supplies I need to get um, I'd like to build a bug out bag that way I have something um, just in case I ever needed to bug out I do have a bug out trailer um, which is my little 5x8 cargo trailer that I built um, it is meant for uh, bugging out um, if in if in that situation you were able to even bug out you know what I'm saying um, but it does have solar and stuff like that I do need to do some upgrades on it but um, it does work pretty good okay um, I would really like to get some lithium batteries but uh, it's, it's like everything takes so much money it's like God are people to get all this money at <laughs> uh, you know I do DoorDash and Uber Eats for work I used to do tile now if I was still doing tile and I could actually handle it mentally you know and my back could handle it um, I would be able to I would have a lot more money to work with so but that's just not the case so um, my back is my back said no you're not doing that no more and I said okay you're, you, you win you win because you know it, it does start hurting if uh, I try to do that stuff so anyway um, I am out here and I'm just getting ready to get uh, get in the car and go to work and uh, start doing some deliveries and but I'm probably gonna have to change jobs soon because it is just the gas I drive a Yukon and the gas is just getting too expensive um, to do this line of work so um, uh, but seeing I have to have something that I can pull with that's why I keep my Yukon um, and that's why I'm fixing everything on it which is right there and because um, I have to have something to pull my trailer with just in case but I'm gonna get on with my day and then uh, I hope y'all are having a good morning and uh, we'll see you in a little bit what's up everybody I've been sitting here I've been riding around I <clears throat> just got done doing a delivery out by the uh, out towards the lake actually out towards my, where my mom used to live and um, the, This is my old stomping grounds. Okay. This is where I grew up. It's, it's a lower income kind of neighborhood um, Let's see uh, They actually still got the toy that my sister broke her leg on. This is the park we used to come to It's down here on Park Street yeah, they still got that same slide. It's still, <laughs> it's the same color. Like, let's see. See, it's like, see that toy right there. It's hard to do right there. It's got the yellow on it and stuff. Oh, way over there. Well, that's what my sister played on. But I mean, they had that, not all of this was here then, back then. But um, it was uh, it was just crazy. 
Um, now my, me and my friends used to come down here. We ride our bikes down through here and stuff. They put like a skate park over here. Let's see, we used to go down and down in this little creek thing over here. Let's see. I'm gonna drive up in here. I'm probably not supposed to, but I'm gonna do it anyway. here all right so this creek thing no it's nothing special this is just from my childhood okay it's from my childhood used to um come down in this creek thing and uh, me and my buddy brian used to go to there used to be a store over here called b and k and then uh, they always had their cigarettes sitting out in the open we were teenagers right We'd go in there and we'd steal cigarettes and we'd come down to the creek and smoke. So, and then, uh, yeah. Just dig going back down memory lane, man. <laughs> We're gonna go cruise through the neighborhood, okay? I, this is back when I, my addiction really kicked off. Uh, when, my, uh, when I started smoking and drinking and all that good stuff. Or not good stuff, but you know what I mean. My seatbelt on. Well, that's like I need to take it. Like we, all we did when we were kids, man, we just rode our freaking bikes around, skipped school, and uh, and and get and smoked. And, oh, I knew I would catch that curb. I knew it. All right, so these apartments right here used to be white. Uh, the yellow apartment there, or whatever you want to call it, they used to be white. The old neighborhood. And I'll show you when we, where we first lived. No, no, no. Uh, it was years and years ago. I was a little bitty kid. And, um, like, little bitty. Like, these old apartments right here have been here a long time. Okay. 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 So, and I want to show, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to show you. Um. We lived in this corner apartment right there. I do believe. No, no, it was this one right here. It was this one right here on the end right here, this corner one. We all uh, lived there. And then my friend Andy lived right over across the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my friend Randy, Andy. Actually, and me and my cousin were playing swords with batons. And then like the end of my, or either mine or his baton, uh, you know, like twirling baton, you know, we're playing swords. And like, you got the little white thing on the end of them. Well, one of them came off and flew through the window and broke a window when we were playing swords. <laughs> my friend, Chris Butler. That's new. That's right there, that's new. My friend, Chris Butler, his grandma lives right there. And then this house right here, um, this little house right here, my friend Squeaky used to live there. We called him Squeaky, his name was Lee. So we, everybody called him Squeaky. And here is Applegate. I've got a lot of stories in Applegate, okay? I've done a lot of stuff. Meaning stuff, like a lot of stuff, like Stuff I shouldn't be doing in these apartments, okay? From dope to all kinds of stuff, okay? Okay, and I'll show you where the first apartment that me, my mom, and my sister lived in, uh, that, that was, which is when my mom met Tim, um, it was this top corner apartment right up here. This top corner apartment right up there and then uh, my mom used to let us throw parties and stuff up there and um yeah after that that's when we my mom got with tim my mom got with tim and then uh, we moved out to lowell and then um yeah so when me and brandy were together after we had alicia we lived in this end apartment right here this end one yeah. Then my Aunt Anna 
lives right across the way from these apartments over on Belma. And uh, she died December of 2019 from, uh, me uh, not methadone, um, fentanyl. And then right over here on uh, this other one, there is a store called um, uh, Joe's Market. And Joe's, Joe, that owned that store, owned Joe's Market, used to let us, uh, he would let our, let us bring notes up there to buy cigarettes. You know, like from our parents, you know what I mean? And so, so what we would do is we would have somebody that had neat, you know, nice handwriting, um, write a note saying, please sell my whatever, whatever, a pack of Marble Reds in a box. <laughs> and so we would, uh, and then we would take that up there and he'd sell them to us. <laughs> right here is where my aunt lives. Which now my cousin Adam lives here. Yeah, now my cousin Adam lives here. <clears throat> so many memories in this neighborhood, dude. So many memories. I guess I'm gonna get off here and then I'm gonna go in here and say hi to Adam real quick. And then I gotta get back on the road. What's up everybody? I just pulled up to my aunt's house. Um, gotta go in here and then pay him some rent. All right, I'm at the gym, I'm at the gym. Yeah, I'm at the gym. <laughs> Today's arm day, I gotta do arms today, so I haven't even had any protein powder or anything. So I haven't really been feeding the muscles properly. I'm gonna go in here and plan a fitness and then um, go ahead and get a, a good arm workout in and then uh, head home. Okay, everybody. So I am done in the gym. I'm getting ready to head home. It's time to get my butt in bed. I am home. I am so sleepy, guys. Warming up the last meal of the day. I am now in the house, or camper, whatever you wanna call it. I might fall into bed. I might fall into chores. You never know what's gonna happen. Hey, everyone. Well. I came in here, tried to eat my food, and then I was laying down on the couch and I guess I fell asleep. And so I went ready to go back to bed. I wanted to get on here and I wanted to tell y'all that I love y'all and I um, hope y'all had a great day. And then uh, remember, it's never too good or too bad to pray. It's just, Remember to say prayers and just, um, oh yeah, remember to ask the next man if they're okay. Are you okay today? How are you? You know, so anyway, I'm going to get off here and I'm going to go to bed. Uh, I hope y'all have enjoyed following me along in today's video and then, uh, yeah, and y'all have a good night.